Hi, I'm here today with Jim McLaughlin of Principal Global Investors. Hi Jim, thanks for speaking Hi, to us today. I was wondering if you could tell us a bit about how your business models have changed, say, since 2008. Yeah. Clearly the financial crisis put business models under a lot of stress and client behaviour has changed since the financial mm. crisis. Our multi-boutique model has worked quite well and been robust through the financial crisis because it enables us to have very active, committed mandates yeah. of the type that clients are now seeking out. Sure. And, um, y you know, I was listening to your panel earlier and there was a little talk about the Eurozone crisis. Do you think it goes beyond Greece? Unfortunately, yes. We're very focused on Greece right now mm. because that's where the emergency is and uh, where the default could happen quite soon, though I think it is actually much more likely that the default will happen and will happen sometime a year or two down the road. That's Greece. I think Portugal will see mm. default. I think Ireland is already seeing a progressive unwinding yep. of the unconditional guarantee of the banks. Those small countries, I think Europe can contain a process of mm. rescheduling or reprofiling. The big one out there though is Spain, which I yep. ultimately think is at least a 50-50 chance that Spain gets into rescheduling or default because the problems of their banking market sure. and uh, as their residential mortgage, uh, as their residential market clears, mm. I think you're going to see uh, damage to the banking system because of poorly secured residential mortgages sure. and I think that means unfortunately that the European financial crisis will involve some problems for Spain. Sure and um, do you think we're heading for another recession and also um, do you blame the regulators? Well I think we're headed for a recession in peripheral Europe. I actually, and that meaning, meaning Spain, uh, Portugal, mm. Ireland, Greece and actually Italy, yep. I think those countries are headed for a recession at a time when Germany is booming. So you're yep. actually, it's, I don't think it's a worldwide synchronized recession. I don't think the US will have another recession, whereas I think J Japan will stay in recessionary yep. conditions. Uh, so I think it's going to be a less synchronized, it's not going to be like the fourth quarter of 2008 when the whole yep. world simultaneously went into mm. recession. I think there is hope that there are some bright spots in the world as well as recessionary ones. Sure. Do I blame the regulators? Only in part. I think uh, it's very difficult for regulators to keep up with uh, changes in the financial sector which uh, have proved to be dangerous. I think right now the uh, the, the flaw is that the regulators have not pushed enough for transparency right. and are allowing the the leverage that caused the financial meltdown to continue. So I'm a little apprehensive about some of the regulatory conditions. Sure. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for that insight and thank you so much Thanks. for your time.